Hi guys, it's Trisha here from smithscraftcreations.com and I am coming on to share a little project that I'm casing from the lovely Donna Lester from Taffy Crafting. Um, Donna's one of my team buddies on Team Scrimpy um, and some of the ladies at my craft class had a little shot of this um, on Saturday there, so that was grand. Right, what you need is a bit of A4 paper and you need a trimmer any trimmer and down the, the longest side you want to trim it down to seven yeah, know, seven and a quarter and this is going to be a wee belly band and then down to seven oops right so that's that trimmed down to seven get rid of the scraps and then you want to trim it down to eight. So it's going to be seven by eight. Keep a hold of this bit because you want to use that for layering up um, a sentiment section. So I'll put my trimmer out the road. Out the road. And I'll get my scoreboard out. And with the... What do you want to call it? With the seven inch at the top, you want to score at... Where's my scorer? One and five inches. So there's one and there's five. Then you switch it around one turn and score it two and three quarters, three and three quarters, six and a half, and seven and a half, like so. A really good easy project this now um what we're going to do is the where you scored at the inch here where this little rectangle is at the right side um we're going to cut up all four lines so hang on to get these scissors and my two good fingers um so you just snip up the four lines And this little rectangle, you want to take that off, but you're going to get a little wedge. Give it a little wedge section, because this bit here is going to be your adhesive part. Right, so now you've got a big, big panel here. I don't know if you can see that. You want to cut away these four and leave this one intact. And this is going to be the lid. So, again, I'm just going to do a little wedge out of there. And cut it all the way up. Oh, God. Come on, work. Like so. And this is going to be a little cute little box. Like, kind of like a treat bag box. And that's how your um, template is going to look. Now, what we want to do is um, I'll just get my envelope punch board because I want to round the, ah, the corners. With flap. Okay. And then we're going to fold and burnish all the lines like so. And like so. And then the bottom bit like so. Right, now, what Donna done in, in her video was she um, layered this up with some DSP. Um, so I'm going to use some scraps of the Oh My Love Sweet. Um, and I'll show you what I'm going to do. So this measures... Where's my ruler? Where is my ruler? This measures... Uh, two and three quarter inches by, I should have wrote this down, in fact I do have the measurements written down, I think, no I don't, so it's two, let me measure, it's two and three quarter inches by, um, four, Two and three quarters by four. Now, if you've got a pattern paper, you want to make sure it's the right way up. 
So two, let me see, is that, yep, that's going to be big enough. So two and three quarters you want one eighth smaller. And one eighth smaller than four is three and seven eighths, like so. Now when you put this together, have the tab at the right side. This section is going to be the front of your little bag thing. Like so. And that's upside down. Don't do that, guys. What an empty. Lovely. Now, I'm not going to decorate the back, but you can if you want. Um, I'm just trying to use up my scraps. Um, so I'm not going to bother um, doing the back. But I am going to get it all stuck together. So I'll just put some tombu on there. Tombu? Tombu on there. And you'll see that just folds flat. If you wanted to post this out to someone um, as a gift, you can see how easy it folds flat. And then they could just build it themselves. Um, I'll just give that a wee second to dry. Um, Yep, and then I'm going to do the same with the bottom. Now, if you do it facing, with the back facing away from you, you want to put two wee bitties down first, then fold over, and then this one last, so, so that you don't see the join at the front of your little bag. And just hold that till it sticks. Cute wee project. Thank you for sharing this, Donna. And um, what we want to do, we want to squeeze. See that? Squeeze it in like so, and that gives you a gorgeous little pouch bag. How cute is that? Now the second part of this is I've got a piece of a. Um, the card soak that I cut off earlier and we're going to make a belly band so you want to start at the bottom and just kind of fold it round to making sure this is all nice and flush without squashing the box too much you don't want to see any squashed sections and what you want to do is you want to snip this down to size like that And adhere your wee belly band. And this will just simply slide off easily, I think. <laughs> just give it a wee bit more extra room there. Now I'm going to let that dry and I'm going to make a, would you call it a sentiment section. Now I'm going to use a two inch punch with a piece of scrap DSP, uh, not DSP, what do you call it, cardstock, and then the smaller one, one and three quarter inch punch, which is retiring guy, so if you don't have that, um, you really should try and get hold of that soon. Pop a bit of that out, like so, and then I use this other one. I think we'll use that. And I'm just going to stick that on there. These are my two good fingers. These are my bad fingers. Okay. And make sure it's the right way up. Pop a wee blobby glue on there. And I want to sit it. Oops, hang on, that's moved a little bit. Oh, it doesn't matter. I'm going to sit it on there, like so. Just to that hold. I'll take that off, actually. God, I should have practiced this. Right, so let me hold that on there. You're probably better using tear tape. I'll just hold that there. Right, now, what I am going to do now is... 
I'm going to grab a little piece of wisp of white here and is that wisp of white or is that vanilla? Oh dear me! Right, there's a bit of scrap wisp of white. Now what I want to do is stamp a sentiment on here and then punch it out using the Everyday Label Punch. So I need to make sure the sentiment fits in here perfect. Now, I'm just trying to think. Let's see. Hmm. I think I'll do this one. Keep reaching for your dreams. I will keep cheating you on. Here, da, 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 da. Where is it? There we go. Here it is. Now these are Klein stamps and this is a strong and beautiful set that's going to be in the new catalogue. Now obviously I'm going to stamp this in lovely lipstick because that's the colour of cardstock I'm using today. So just let me stamp it on here, like so, awesome, get that out of the way, keep a punch thing, god I'm a bit shaky, oh god, there, punch it out, awesome. Now I'm also going to punch out a piece of this and I'll show you why in a minute. I'm going to cut it in half and I'm going to adhere it to the back of this just to give it another little layer. So let's do that. I'm a bit aim. Um, Skittery with the glue today. Just make sure that your label's the same size at each side. I'm just making this up as a go, by the way. I'm sure it'll be fine. And I want to put that on there. Like so. Right, now back to the box. Get the box closed. This is all adhered now, so we'll get the belly band back on. Um, if you didn't want to use a bailer band, you could use a little bit of Velcro under the flap there. Whatever your little heart desires. Okay, uh, what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to fussy cut some of these images out and stick them just at the back of this um, circle punch area. Um, because there's some lovely leaf, leaf images, printed images in here and this lovely flower. I think that will look nice. Um, as a little 3D embellishment so just fussy cut it out like so it's much easier to turn the paper than it is to turn the scissors I'm not very good at keeping in the line so that was a bit close It just goes to show how you can use the scraps of your DSP when you're running out. This um, Oh My Love DSP is a spring summer occasions catalogue item that's still running at the minute to the 3rd of June. So you can still get your hands on this, I'm sure. Oh, how fab is that? Right, let me cut out some leaves. I'm not going for the little tiny ones, I'll be here blowing all night. Right, let's see. I am concentrating, hence the quietness. I do apologise. There's some more little leaves. What else can I cut out? Got to do this little image. This was supposed to be a quick project. <laughs> I've just made it really long. But I'm sure you'll like the end product. 
I don't even think I introduced what I was making, did I? Never mind. Maybe I did. Right, so. Oh, that'll be my phone falling off my tripod thing. Right, start again. <laughs> what a fright I got. Right, now we're going to stick this on the little um, little dimensionals. You could use um, glue dots if you like. But I'll use some mini dimensionals. And that way I can sneak these floral images in at the back of it if I need to. So I think three is enough. Like so. And we'll be here for half an hour while I do this. Oh, oh, come on. Right, now, I'm going to place that there, like so. And I'm going to put these images at the back. I think that will look absolutely gorgeous. Now I'm just going to stick them on the tumble. This is a beautiful, beautiful paper. Absolutely beautiful. Right, I'm going to adhere that little leaf to this flower. Like that. And I think I'll stick that to the bottom. Yep, that's what I'll do, stick it to the bottom. I'm quite chuffed with that, actually. Sometimes you just got to make it up as you go along, eh? Gorgeous. Absolutely gorgeous. Isn't that sweet? Now, I need to finish this... Pardon me, finish this off with a couple of basic rhinestone jewels. Jewels. Which are in here somewhere. So, let's see now. Where's my pocket tool? And I'm just going to apply these to the centre of these little 3D embellishments that I've put on. And I think that looks amazing. How fab is that? Wow. Now, I'll apologise for the photograph of this project, but my little portable photo studio broke. Which is a bit annoying, and I keep forgetting to get my husband to order me a new one, so... My bad. Anyway, um, I hope you like this project, and once again, thanks to Taffy Crafting, Donna. Um, give it a little go, and um, I'll link Donna's original video um, underneath this, so you can go and check that out too. Okay, take care, guys. Bye.